Psalm 15 seems to be obsessed with a who question, namely, who can be in God's presence? That's a big question, and the psalmist explores the answer with a series of who statements. Remarkably, the psalm is able to repeat some forms of the word who 13 times in only five verses. That's a poetic feat for any person, in my opinion. See if you can count all the who's as I read Psalm 15. Lord, who may dwell in your sacred tent? Who may live on your holy mountain? The one whose walk is blameless, who does what is righteous, who speaks the truth from their heart, whose tongue utters no slander, who does no wrong to a neighbor and casts no slur on others, who despises a vile person, but honors those who fear the Lord, who keeps an oath even when it hurts and does not change their mind, who lends money to the poor without interest, who does not accept a bribe against the innocent, Whoever does these things will never be shaken. Were you able to count all the who's? Clearly, the writer of this psalm wants to answer the who question. But his answer does not give us any names of who can be in God's presence. However, he does give us a lot of descriptions of the heart and character of the who in question. When we read the psalm, we may wonder if we fit the who descriptions and qualify to be one who can be in God's presence. If we are honest with ourselves, we will have to admit that we do not measure up to the psalmist's descriptions. Unfortunately, the answer to the question of who can be in God's presence would be not me. However, that doesn't answer the question of who can. We must read beyond this psalm to find the ultimate answer to the who question. The only one who fits all the descriptions perfectly in this psalm would be the person of Jesus Christ found in the Gospels. Like Psalm 15, the entire Bible is concerned about answering the question of who. Even Jesus asked us the same question when he asked, who do you say that I am? The answer to that question ends up being very good news for us who know we do not qualify to be in God's presence. Jesus is the one who has always been in God's presence as God's very own son. He has come as the answer to Psalm 15, standing in for us so we can stand in God's presence by the Spirit, enjoying the Father as the Son does. I am glad the psalmist asked the who question, and more so, I am glad the Father sent Jesus as the answer. Mi nombre es Everticas, hablando de vida. We hope you enjoyed watching Speaking of Life, and we'd love for you to join us for our denominational celebration in June 2023. GCI members and leaders from around the world will gather in Charlotte, North Carolina for worship, fellowship, and collectively discerning the movement of the Spirit. 1010 virtually? Host a watch party and worship with our brothers and sisters around the world. Our theme this year is Remember Our First Love. For more information, visit gci.org slash DC2023. Registration opens December 5th, 2022. We hope to see you there. And we'll see you back here next week.